Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. In today's Drax tutorial, we take a look at the differences between these two DAX functions. One is summarize, the other is summarize columns. So already I have discussed in my previous video what is summarize function used for. I'll give a short synopsis before I go ahead and explain the differences and also the usage of summarize columns. So let us begin with a small introduction to summarize. Well, summarize is nothing but as I've already mentioned that it returns a summary table for the requested totals over a set of groups. What does it mean? It is similar to the group by function in SQL. So if you are familiar with the group by function, there will be, let's say, 10 or 12 columns in your data, right? And you, uh, and there are, let's say, millions of rows in your data. Now, if you go ahead and group by, let's say, one of your uh, you know columns is country and you need to group by country and see the sum of sales so you just require these two columns right one is country the other is sales so the rest 10 columns will be neglected out of those 12 columns right so you can go ahead and create a summary table containing only these two columns so the syntax of summarize is very simple now summarize as I mentioned before it will take a table as an input as well and it will give a table as an output so the first argument for summarize is a table the second is group by the column name which i was giving the example let's say you need to group by country so you'll write over here country and multiple columns can be there so apart from country let's say you need to do the grouping based on year so you will give the year over here and uh, then you have to give the expression finally which is like say you need to get the sum of sales or the sum of profit and give them a name. Now let us go to the practical example and see how we can use summarize and then how we can use summarize columns. So uh, before I begin as I already told you that summarize and summarize columns both can be used to create tables right. So first we will see the tabular examples. Uh, since we are talking about tables obviously any example that I'll I'll give over here uh, you have to go to a uh, new table I, either you can select the table any particular table and then you can have the option to create the new table uh, using this i have already created a very simple table over here which is distinct countries so i hope the output is clearly visible it will give you the distinct list of countries in the table let us move to the second example here we are using summarize and we are grouping by our country and year and we are calculating the sum of sales and naming it as sales in double quotes and then sum of profit naming it as profit in double quotes totally you are going to get one two three and four columns right that's what is visible in the below let me zoom it a bit so these are the four columns that we have calculated via the above summarize and let us see what happens in summarize columns so i'll go to obviously new table tell the name of the table says summarize column now we will write the summarize column okay so summarize column if you see the syntax of summarize column so the first argument will be a group by column name so unlike summarize it does not begin with the table name we have to directly specify the group by column name one to whatever number of columns will be there and then there will be this filter which is going to filter this entire table right then there will be name and expression so i'll just go ahead and give the group by year and as you are able to see i'll select the financial years from here and give 2000 2014 right and try to filter this data great so this is the result that we are getting look at the year column it is getting filtered with only 2014 values all the values are 2014 so the filtration works perfectly this is the main difference between summarize and summarize columns that you can filter your data using summarize columns in the measures what will happen is, same i have done a group by country and year and i am returning the sum of financial sales i am calling that sales as s1 and in the variable i have passed this tab one or the table one 
and I am returning and the second argument I am giving the expression which is S1 right and I am returning A now if I pull this in the visual summarize it's going to work right but if I create another measure using summarize column so let me go ahead and show you that measure which I have created using summarize column since it returns a table so I cannot go ahead and create the measure directly I have stored the value I have grouped by country and year I am going to name the sum of sales as S2 and I am this entire summarize column will return a table that table I am storing in tab 2 variable now inside sum of X I am giving tab 2 and I am returning this sales S2 right and ultimately I am returning my variable B which will give a scalar value for the entire sales but if you say that it is absolutely similar to summarize and let me go ahead and pull this as a measure look what will happen your visual will give a very classical error if you go, go and see the details of that error summarize columns and add missing items may not be used in this context so it's a very complex calculation that takes be place behind the scenes for summarize and summarize columns okay for details you can go ahead and see this particular article okay from sql bi i'll give this article in the description box as well so how it is working but it is outside the scope of this video to explain the entire details to you so go i request you to go ahead and check this article as well but as of now remember measure when you are creating a measure summarize is going to work but summarize columns won't work when it is going to have a context transition for example this particular table or a matrix each and every row is there right or a visual where grouping of data is there per year one one bar for one one year so over there this summarize column won't work where it will work it can go ahead and work in case of cards so although you have created the measures using summarize column it won't work in this table but let's say if i delete this summarize measure and i go ahead and pull this summarize columns measure look it is working perfectly in case of card while it is going to give you an error when i click this in this visual with the measures as i told you generally go with summarize don't go with summarize columns when you're creating a table then you try to use summarize column why because summarize column is faster so guys this is the major difference between summarize and summarize columns I hope you are pretty much clear with the example. If you like my videos, please go ahead and subscribe because it is through your subscription that I get motivated to do better videos. Okay, so thank you so much guys and have a great day. Bye-bye.